200 years ago, Singapore was a jungle, an obscure tropical island, barely inhabited. Today, it's an Asian tiger, an economic giant. This city-state has no natural resources. Its land is infertile. So why has it lured so many people from around the world, seeking their fortune? Today, Singapore has been shaped by one man, Lee Kuan Yew. He ruled the country for a quarter of a century, leading it into the modern age. But what was Singapore like before Lee Kuan Yew? How did it ever emerge onto the world stage? Unless you know where you came from, unless you know what your ancestors have been through, you have no reference point. What makes us different from, say, the Thais, or the Filipinos, or the Sri Lankans. The difference is how we came here, how we developed, and that requires a sense of history. Singapore's history can be traced back to the beginnings of the global economy and to the ambitions of a maverick British pioneer. He came from a very different world to Lee Kuan Yew, but has left his imprint just as clearly on the modern city. Without him, Singapore would never have begun its remarkable journey. From mangrove to metropolis. Singapore is a tiny island that's been shaped by the grand forces of history. Back in the 19th century, the British were developing a powerful trading empire and had their sights set on Southeast Asia. January 1819, a small expeditionary force has arrived on the island, working for the British East India Company. The leader is a highly...